Hey there, Norman here from WellCode, and in this video, we'll be going over how to connect your business directory gallery to a dynamic page, as well as highlighting a few other more advanced ways to use this widget to its fullest potential. If you haven't watched our first two training videos where we talk through the options panel of the widget as well as how to set up and connect the Airtable to the directory, then before continuing with this video, I would definitely recommend watching those two to get caught up to speed. That being said, we'll start by creating a dynamic page by opening up our pages panel, clicking new page, and then underneath add a dynamic page, select blank. Next, we'll give this a name. We'll name this page Animal Shelters. And then for connect to a collection, we'll use a drop down and we'll select our Airtable collection that we've already made previously and we'll click Add Page. Okay, and the dynamic page will load in. And from here, we'll just quickly link up a few items to the collection. So I'll grab this text and we'll link this to the name. We'll link this paragraph to the description. And then we'll link this image to the image. We'll click done. Now with that dynamic page created, let's go ahead, open up that business directory widget one more time on the home page. Scroll down, right click the widget, connect to data and select change connection. We scroll down, we locate connect link to. This is where we would link the link button to the dynamic page. As we can see, that dynamic page is not in the listing yet. So we'll close this real quick. To fix this, we open content, collection, open up that air table, and then click refresh data. Once this is finished refreshing, we can click done. The builder will refresh. And now if we scroll down, open up that widget again, change connection, come down to link. We'll see our dynamic page here. Click done. That's all linked up. And now we're ready to go. This widget is now connected to a dynamic page. So if we republish to test this, we open up the site, scroll down here, we open up the modal, and then we're gonna click the view website button. However, I wanna note that normally you would change the label for the modal and in the modal to something different such as view more. However, in this example, we're just gonna leave this as the default. Now it takes us to that dynamic page that we just created. If we go back and we click on a different directory item, click visit website, we can see here that the dynamic page is pulling in all that information from the collection as expected. However, now I'd like to take this a step further and add additional information to the dynamic page. To do this, let's first close these tabs. We don't need these right now and open up our air table. Now, what I would like to add for each of these animal shelters is a pet of the week. And I'd like to show the image of the pet as well as the pet's name and some general information about the pet. And I want that to be unique for each dynamic page. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna scroll this all the way to the right, and we're gonna add some additional columns in here. The first column we're gonna add, we're going to set as an attachment field. This is gonna contain our image. Next, we're gonna scroll a bit further again. We're gonna add a single line text field, and then scroll once more and add one more field, which is gonna be a long text field. Okay, now with these three fields, I'm gonna quickly add information into these fields and then when I come back, we'll get that added to the dynamic page and take a look at how that all works. All right, let's quickly go over what I did here. First thing I did was I updated the names of the columns. So you do that by double clicking the column and giving it a name. I've added images, I've added names, and I've added a bit of information for each animal. Now, the great thing about business directory widget using Airtables and collections is that you can add additional fields into the Airtable and not affect the content of the business directory itself. So with these additional fields in the Airtable, let's get those added to the collection and linked up in the dynamic page. Let's jump back into the builder. And from here, we wanna open up our collection. So we'll go content, collections, open up our Airtable. 
Now, because we've added those columns into the Airtable after our initial creation of this collection, we'll simply need to manually add those additional fields and set the appropriate field types. So I'll scroll down here. First thing we wanna do is we wanna grab the first column. We'll click Add Field. We'll give this the same name. We'll paste that name. And we wanna match what that column is in the Airtable. So this is gonna be an image. Next, we want to grab our second field, copy that name, same process, add field, paste the name. We want to set this to plain text. And then lastly, grab this field's name, copy it, add field, paste, plain text, and with those fields added, we can simply click refresh data. The data will be refreshed. We can click done. The builder will refresh. And now we can open up our dynamic page. Now from the dynamic page, we'll need to add additional widgets to display the new content that I've added in the Airtable. So the first thing I will do is I will add a new row. And I want to add a column. Next, we want to fill the left column with an image widget. And then the right column, I want to fill with a text widget as well as a large title widget. Okay, so with those added, now we want to link this content to that new content in the Airtable. So I'll right click the image connect the data. We'll grab the animal of the week photo from the Airtable collection. And then we'll click done. Next, we'll right click new title, select connect the data. We'll connect this to use the animal name field. We can see here that the connection has overridden the styling, but we'll correct that in a moment. Next, the new paragraph, right click connect the data and we'll use the animal information field. We'll click done. And then I do wanna add one more additional text field right above this, which we will title animal of the week. We'll quickly style this. And then we can right click on animal name, select edit design. We can update this to better match the rest of the site. And there we have it, our completed dynamic page, which is showing more content from the Airtable than is shown in the business directory. So let's go ahead and preview this on the live site. Click done, and then we want to republish, open up the live site, and if we scroll down here, we can see that our business directory is still working great. And if we open up a modal, we can see that none of that additional information regarding the pet of the week is being displayed in the modal. But if we follow that modal to the dynamic page and we scroll down, we can see that all that additional information that was added into the Airtable is being displayed in the dynamic page. If we go back and we open up a separate listing, we follow that one to the dynamic page we can see that the information is also updating on this as well to show the new content unique to this listing. Now, one thing I wanted to note before I leave you is when connecting your business directory to a dynamic page, it will only be possible to actually test the dynamic page from a live site. If you try and test the dynamic page from the preview button in the builder or by using the preview URL, you'll be greeted with a 404 page not found. Let me just demonstrate that quickly. If we open up our preview URL and we scroll down, open up a modal, follow that modal to a dynamic page, we'll see here that we have the 404 page not found. That being said, when setting this up, you may want to consider building out the business directory widget on a separate hidden page for testing, publish the site, and then when the site is ready to go live and you've tested the dynamic page, you can unhide the page or move the widget over to a different page and then republish the site. As always, my name is Norma Durkee and you've been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet. 
wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to support. We're always here to help.